God says, I know that you stress a lot at times. I don't blame you, life can be hard, life can be challenging, and life can overwhelm us at times. However, when you are in a season of trouble, I want you to surrender it all to me. I will take care of you. Dear God, I come before you with a humble heart, seeking your guidance and grace. Grant me the strength to face the challenges ahead and the wisdom to make the right decisions. Fill my heart with your love and my spirit with your peace. Guide my steps and let your light shine through me in all that I do. Thank you for your unending mercy and blessings. In Jesus' name, Amen. Heavenly Father, as we rise to meet you in prayer this morning, we want to thank you for the many blessings you've given us this week. How thankful we are for the Holy Spirit and your precious word which you use to set us free from all worry and give us peace. Today, I'm asking for your healing touch for all of your people around the world. Heal their bodies, spirit, mind, and their souls. For we know it is only through you, Lord, that we can have true contentment and peace. Help us to be a blessing and encourage others today, as the Holy Spirit continues to lead our way. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. God doesn't always give you the people you want because the ones you desire may not align with the greater plan for your life. God knows what suits you best, even if it doesn't match your immediate wishes. Trust that His choices are made with your well-being in mind. Embrace the people he brings into your life, as they may bring valuable lessons and blessings you might not have expected. Dear Lord, thank you for this new day. Please help me remember this week that you are with me wherever I go, and in you, I have everything I need. If I start to feel discouraged, stressed, or overwhelmed, Please help me remember I can do all things through Christ, I am more than an overcomer, and victory is mine because I am yours. May people see you in me, and may all, I say and do please you and bring glory and honor to your name. In Jesus' name, I ask these things. Amen. Have you been praying for something? yet felt like nothing was happening. I want to encourage you today that if you've been in that place before or find yourself in it now, God isn't distant or unaware. The enemy will always try to bring doubt when we're nearing the fulfillment of God's promise. He'll point to circumstances so we'll fear the future instead of expecting and believing for God's best but he can't stop what God wants to do. A godly marriage is not found. It is made. It is made by saying yes to God's calling on your life to marriage and continuing to say yes to obeying God through the journey, even when it's hard. It is learning to love your spouse continually as they grow and change through the years and fighting for them not against them, when they struggle. It's made by putting Christ as the center of your relationship and continuing to pursue sanctification as individuals before the Lord. God is saying to you today, you have been questioning yourself lately and wondering if you are really strong enough or good enough to do what I placed in your heart to do, let me remind you that you can do all things through Christ. Don't let fear talk you out of your dream. Remember, I am with you and you will make it. You can do this. Comment, Amen, if you believe. Look around you it may not seem like much but you are currently living in some of your answered prayers. Even if you forgot, God hasn't. 
It could be something simple like craving a certain food, needing a friend, or even things like finding a job, getting pregnant, buying a phone, plant, house or car. Or finding a church where you feel at home. Just take a moment to appreciate what you have and thank God for it. For by him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities all things were created through him and for him. Colossians 1 verse 16 Jesus said, What man among you, if he has a hundred sheep and has lost one of them, does not leave the other ninety-nine in the open pasture and go after the one that is lost, until he finds it? For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Luke 15 verse 4, Luke 19 verse 10 NASB 20 But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23. Matthew 7 colon 13 dash 14. Enter by the narrow gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who go and by it. Because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life, and there are few who find it. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 2 Don't just pretend to love others. Really love them. Hate what is wrong. Hold tightly to what is good. Love each other with genuine affection, and take delight in honoring each other. Never be lazy, but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Romans 12 verses 9 to 11. If it wasn't for the struggles, you wouldn't be as strong as you are today. God is always building you up, even when it feels like he's breaking you. Psalms 28 verse 7 Good night honey I love you. You have had a long day and now it is time to give that pretty mind some rest. Sleep well dear, good night. Even though I can't hold you in my arms as I drift off to sleep, I know that you were, are, and will remain in my heart and mind. Cast down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5 Hebrews 5 verse 7 In his life on earth Jesus made his prayers and requests with loud cries and tears to God, who could save him from death. Because he was humble and devoted, God heard him. Amen, Tilder, if you believe it. It is not an enemy who taunts me, I could bear that. It is not my foes who so arrogantly insult me, I could have hidden from them. Instead, it is you, my equal, my companion and close friend. Psalms 55 verses 12 to 13. The righteous man perishes, and no man takes it to heart, and devout men are taken away, while no one understands. For the righteous man is taken away from evil, Isaiah 57 verse 1. Since God chose you to be the holy people he loves, you must clothe yourselves with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Colossians 3 verse 12. Heavenly Father, I feel overwhelmed by the uncertainty of the future. 
Your word reminds me not to fear because you are with me, and you strengthen me. I surrender my anxiety to you, trusting that you will uphold me. In Jesus' name, Amen. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58 Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. James 1 verse 17 Jeremiah 32 verse 17 R. Sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Tilder 2 Peter 3 9 But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his Son, purifies us from all sin. 1 John 1 verse 7 So we say with confidence, The Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Tilder Hebrews 13 6 For the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Habakkuk 2 verse 14